In this video, we'll use the formula tool in Alteryx to create a conditional formula that will compute the current year depreciation for each tangible personal property asset. Connect a formula tool from the blue preparation menu with the J output anchor of your join tool. If the connection was not made with the right anchor, you can always click on a connection and then hit the delete key on your keyboard to break a connection and then make a manual connection with the right anchor. In the configuration pane, click the drop down arrow next to select column and choose the option to add a column. Label the new column current year depreciation underscore I. Click FX and then click on the right arrow to expand the conditional formula menu. Then select if C, then T, else if C2, then T2, else F, and if. Replace C with useful life equal to 3. Replace T with cost times 3 year divided by 100. and hit enter to move the else if to the next line. Place your cursor in front of else and hit enter to move that to a new line. Replace C2 with useful life equal to five and T2 with cost times five year divided by 100. Copy the entire line by using your control C or command C keyboard shortcut. Then hit enter and paste this. Repeat this process two more times so that you have four lines with the same part of the formula. Replace the five with seven and five year with seven year. Then replace five with 10 and the five year with 10 year. Finally, replace the last five with 15 and 15 year. Replace F with cost times 20 year divided by 100. Change your data type to fixed decimal. Leave the default for precision, but change the scale to zero. To put this all in plain language, the conditional formula tells Alteryx to multiply the cost of the asset against the appropriate depreciation percentage based on the asset's useful life. Notice that we are dividing by 100 because the recovery percentages in our depreciation tables are formatted as numbers, not percentages. Changing the scale to zero reports the current year depreciation in whole dollars. Save and run your Alteryx workflow. Click on the output anchor and verify that your formula computed the correct depreciation with a calculator for a sample of your assets. A few minutes of time spent checking gives us comfort that the data transformations are occurring properly. Good job! In the next video, you will learn how to adjust the current year depreciation to account for property dispositions.